On most ornamental nurseries, the application of feed to crops is done by using a concentrated solution, which is then run through a proportional diluter and either applied by hand through a rose at the end of the hose pipe or connected directly to boom application. This is a demonstration model of a typical on-nursery proportional diluter. The normal system is that water is lifted through this pipe here into the unit where a piston is then being pushed up and down and the control of that is simply by two sets of valves. Each time the piston rises, it lifts a small amount of feed into the water stream which then comes down the outlet pipe. The dilution of the concentrated feed is set by these marks on the actual throat of this inlet pipe. One in 50, one in 100, and further down there's a one in 200 dilution. So that's 2%, 1%, and half a percent dilution. All you need to do this on a nursery is a set of kitchen scales, a small measuring beaker, a conductivity meter. You need some beakers in order to have your stock solution and for your dilution. And obviously you need water from the nursery, which is your background for the dilution. We're gonna check how effective the proportional diluter is to make sure it's giving the correct output conductivity. So we're gonna start with a 1 in 50 dilution, which is 2%, 1 in 100 dilution, 1%, and a 1 in 200 dilution, 0.5%. The first thing we do then is to take 10 millilitres. If we make this up to 500 millilitres with water from the nursery, will give us dilution 1 in 50. It's easier to actually weigh the water assuming that we accept that one gram of water is equivalent to one milliliter. We now have a one in 50 diluted solution. And what we're gonna do now is just measure the conductivity of this solution, which will give us our first calibration point. Take a small amount of the actual diluted solution. This gives us a reading of 3,660 microsiemens. And that's your most concentrated level. We're then going to take 50 millilitres of the solution we've already diluted and add to that another 50 millilitres of water which will give us a 1 in 100 dilution. We've got a reading of 1,866 microsiemens. And then similarly to last time we make a measurement of that 1 in 200 diluted solution which would be our third calibration point. And this time we're getting a reading of 1,193 microsiemens. So we now have the three points for our calibration curve. We're going to run the diluter at 1 in 100, 1% dilution, and see if it actually gives us an output solution with a reading of approximately 1,800 microsiemens. This will tell us whether or not the diluter is actually working normally. So when we ran the proportional diluter on the nursery, we got a value of 1,787, whereas the original calibration point was 1,866. You could increase the concentration slightly by altering the throat on the actual proportional diluter. Most of the diluters tend to actually vary more at low concentrations than they do at high concentrations. These two points are fairly close and probably indicate that the diluter we've used is running accurately. So take home points for you to think about with the proportional diluter. First one is, if possible, it's a good idea to calibrate them uh, twice a year. Probably once in the spring, most importantly, and once in the autumn for the autumn crops. Second point is to remember to take them apart every so often and just check to make sure that the O-rings are in situ on the valves. Third point is to take the basket filters out and make sure they're clean 
and also make sure that the filter at the end of the feed concentrate tube is also cleaned regularly. Algae does tend to grow on these. Just run them through then with plain water and prevent crystals forming in the actual piston area.